Hello again, YouTubers. MeanerNull3 here again of eBay and YouTube, owner of ToyGameAndEmporium.com. In today's video, we're going to take a look at some of the new Disney Planes diecast. Um, in the background here, you can see all of Wave 1, I believe this is, six different in all. But we're actually going to skip those for now because at my local Target, I believe of a Yesterday, I think it was, I found one from what I believe is wave number two. I found Bravo. It's the only newer one they had there, but I made sure I picked him up. So we're going to look at him exclusively today. And we'll look at the other ones in some upcoming videos, unless I find some of the other ones first here. Other ones apparently in wave two. Well, they showed Dusty Crop Chopper again there, but he is, of course, in wave one as the main character. Bravo, which we have right here. Zed, Chug, and Bulldog. So they do have at least one vehicle in this line that is not actually a plane of any sort. So, just to show you that. Um, lift the camera up here. Read his little bio. Meet Bravo. International flying superstars compete in the exciting Wings Around the Globe rally. Navy jet fighter Bravo keeps the skies safe during the Around the World Air Race. So it sounds like he acts kind of as security in a way during the race. So, that is... A little info there about uh, Bravo, and this is of course basically a spin-off of Cars from the world above Cars, and I believe this is supposed to be a trilogy, as in there will be three movies for planes in the years ahead, for just three and up, um, and yeah, so let's open up here and take a closer look at them. And FYI, at Target, these retail for $6 each. At Walmart, they're about $5 each. And I think at Toys R Us, they're about $7 each. So, you know where to kind of look to get the best deals or whatever. But overall, the planes are kind of hard to find right now. They're not overly abundant right now in stores. So here is a full look, then, at Bravo. You can see he's got different letterings and markings there. Show you the details. There you go. Finally focused in there. You've got some little detail down there. VF-17. VF-17 up there as well. 113. Some more symbols and stuff. So plenty of good detail here. I'm not sure there might be play sets that go with these. Like, you can see there's a certain shape in the bottom there. So maybe there are certain sets that like have peg and stuff you can like mount them on top of to create different scenes. If not, they should because they'd be pretty cool. And it looks like the wheel here can retract down all the way as well so he can you know go in for the landing and retract that front wheel let's see does it's not easy to pull the wheel back out though you gotta have to kind of grab the sides of um the little thing sticking out there hard to grasp so it's not the easiest thing to get back out once you push it in um the back wheels here they don't retract in any way it looks like but they do of course spin so you can wheel them around um, not sure that F20 there means anything on the bottom or if that's just kind of like some sort of serial number or something like that. A little bit of picture in there underneath one of the wings. And the other side says Disney made in Thailand. Um, got a couple of blue lightning bolts there on top. It's got the star on top there as well. Opposite of the one on the bottom. So one's got on top and one's got on the bottom. Kind of interesting. Other than that, both sides appear to be mirror images. The back fins there are the same. Both say VF-17, same markings on the sides. So um, each side is identical other than the star, which, you know, is reverse clone or whatever you want to say. So I think that's a pretty good in-depth look at him so you can fully see what he all has to offer. So again, that is a look at Bravo. So please subscribe if you have not already done so. Give us a big thumbs up. Comment below and let me know what you think of these new planes. Are you going to see the movie? Is there a certain plane currently out that you think is the coolest looking one that you most want? Let us know in the comments below. Um, check out ToyGameAndEmporium.com or eBay store and our Amazon store for all of your toy and gaming needs. Links for all those as well as our Facebook and Twitter can be found in the video description box below. So I thank you all for watching and I'll see you all next video.